Hello everybody, this is Rotak here as usual. Um first of all I'd like to say um we're in one point two for a start. One point two point two. Uh also this here is a oh hello. A slam farm. Uh that isn't actually uh hooked up to anything yet, it's just a big open room with a lot of torches in. Uh, me and Chris took it out uh, yesterday afternoon, and today is the first of the first, so 1.2 has just come out, although you you guys probably won't have seen this episode until a bit later on, because we've still got a backlog of uh, videos from me and Chris, but you will have seen all those by the time this comes out, so I'll stop rambling. Uh, yeah, this is going to be the slam spawning farm thing. Uh, these two chunks here are slime spawning chunks and the main base is just over here so it's not a whole it's not a far ways away uh, but it'll give in, give us enough time to process and room I should say time and room to process the slimes break them down and eventually uh, feed them into a little room that comes off here um, so yeah 1.2 um, for a start I've discovered a cool little way to like uh, hide wires that go underground uh, just for a single half slab. So you need a half slab, like a normal one, and then one uh, at, at the top there. Uh, and it goes down there. And because redstone doesn't get blocked by any type of half slab uh, or stair, I think, as well, um, that is possible. So you can make it look like a fake floor. Well, look like a floor, even though. This block and uh, which block is it? I think it's that block. Uh, uh, half slabs. I've also done a bit of uh, work in this room as well. I wanted to, I'm not going to say pretty it up, but just make it a little bit easier to use. I've got some stairs here that you can run up now. Uh, I've put stairs a lot, a lot of places. And I've also filled in this big hole that was once here with cobble, just to make it a bit easier to get around. Uh, this is just me messing around with the new stairs, uh, half slabs and all that cool stuff. And this was going to be the slime farm. Uh, but then we decided to move it over there with a two because there was only one chunk here. And it's a bit close really to our, uh, well where we're going to be moving them towards. So we won't really have enough room to like break them down or process them. So we decided to do it over there because uh, distance away doesn't really matter. As long as it's within, uh, what was it, 144, 144 blocks of you, uh, mobs will spawn. Uh, which brings us to what we're going to do today, actually. Uh, those of you who have been paying eager close attention to my inventory will know that I have, that's Marcus on, shout out to Marcus, um, uh, will know that I can't sleep, can I, can you sleep? I completely forgot about that. <laughs> Um, yeah, I've got a ton of nether brick, uh, stone, uh, what's it called, uh, stone brick, uh, glass panes and ladders. Uh, and the reason being is that we're going to, uh, well, in this episode I want to build the new mob system farm machine. Uh, now if you remember the last, um, Last end of the last episode, we, me and Chris, uh, built this huge thing. I haven't made any changes to that yet, though, that little hut, but I'm going to, because uh, I've decided I'm going to change this tower a little bit as well, but that comes afterwards. Um, what, I'd, what I'd like to do... Well, I'm going to I'm gonna build this. Uh, I'll probably do a cut, because the time lapse will be a bit uh, repetitive, I would think. So... I will cut to the point where this tower is as tall as it needs to be. Which is, I should mention, is Y1, uh, no, Y200, so we've still got uh, 72 blocks to go. So I better get, uh, and this is very, very dangerous. Now, I did survive a fall from this height, or maybe a bit lower down, uh, but I will not definitely not survive a drop from way way up there so I'm gonna do this just to play it safe and I'll bring you back in like I said 
when I have done that. Okay, that's the first stack gone. I'm being very, very careful now as we are beginning to lose sight of the ground. <laughs> um, what are we at? We are at 192, so we're almost there actually. Uh, we just need to go a few more layers up here. Okay, there we are. Y200. We cannot see the floor at all, but we're kind of a little bit down there. And I don't know what my render distance is at. I think it's at normal, actually. Uh, let's put it on far. And wait for the well to load, of course. Uh, anyway, we'll head back down and make this more a little bit safer. More, a little bit more. Yes, we'll do that. Um, by adding the walls and the glass on, obviously. Okay, there we go. That's the sides done. Uh, now we've just got to do the front glass panes. Okay, looks like we have made it to the top. Uh, just as the sun sets. Get some torches up here, because we do not want to come up here uh, in the future and have like a, a zombie or something that pushes off. That would be a complete disaster. But yes, I will... Chomping away. Start building a little platform. Uh, again, I'm going to put bring the aesthetics uh, second. Uh, primary uh, goal of this is function, uh, and then aesthetics after that. So I'll make this platform uh, about that long. <laughs> Uh, so if you walk up here, uh, the mobs will be there. I'll make it a bit bigger. Should have brought a bed. <laughs> um, we'll also make it a bit wider. And also, some I love in this patch, you can actually hit mobs feet now in multiplayer. Which is something I really really missed over in multiplayer because uh, of course a lot of mob, tra mob traps utilize the fact that you can just punch the mob's feet uh, when you bring them in a, like a small enclosed area uh, that didn't work in multiplayer but now Jeb has fixed his game and we can now punch uh, the feet which is good so we're going to utilize that new uh, feature with this and also um, I'm not too sure how this uh, thing I've got in mind is going to work well I know it'll work but there's something uh, new uh, that will I'm pretty well I'm very unsure uh, whether or not it'll work but we're just gonna have to test it uh, and so it goes I suppose I got some torches up here I also need to test that quick drop from way up here because um, that is starting to look very, very uh, hypnotic. <laughs> if you go down there and spin around, you'll go crazy. Um, okay, we are at Y two hundred. Uh, oh, another cool feature! If you look uh, where the X Y Z are, and you see my mouse right here. It's got the bio information, and I've no idea what LCB ice plane. Well, I know what ice planes mean, obviously. Uh, but yeah, got the bio information now because the biome information is now saved with each chunk, um, which is good because you won't get some strange. Well, hopefully, it will uh, allow for mob uh, map creators to alter this. Say you didn't make a map in a future patch somehow makes it into a snowy biome all of a sudden, you can be able to change that back into a normal biome uh, so it won't stir. Or you could even make it into a desert to stop rain uh, and all that kind of cool stuff. But yeah, this is going to be the basis of it. Uh, I need to make sure uh, that we have somewhere to hold the mobs because as soon as we start building this thing, mobs are going to spawn inside of it. Uh, so the plan is 
to hold the mobs here so we'll be able to punch their feet uh, and collect drops so we'll build a little tube like I said I'm gonna build it uh, just very very uh, simply at first and then we'll improve it later on and um, we also need some ladders that goes up to the spawning pads um, but I'll, 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 come the, I'll come to those in a little bit Uh, we also need it to be 23 blocks ish uh, upwards uh, from here. So if we count this, so that's obviously 201. So we need to go up to 224. So we shall do that now. I almost forgot um, I won't be able to get back down. <laughs> Um, what should we do? I'm also going to try a new type of spawning pad that Efo made. Uh, it's basically it uses four water source blocks. Uh, how am I going to get down? I need to make some kind of ladder at the side, but I don't know how wide this thing's going to be. Well, I do actually. It's going to be eight blocks that way when we get to the desired height. And we are not near it yet. So I'm going to do my ladder fall trick. There we go. Um, so yeah, it's going to be eight blocks away and then another one because we'll have a water stream. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, and then this will be the last one, which is actually pretty cool because it's all in line with this. Um, so, obviously this is only temporary. This will not be here uh, when it's all said and done. I'm just going to build another staircase. Staircase? Uh, another ladder up top here uh, so we can get uh, inside of this thing while we're building it and we'll make a more permanent access solution that's not a bloody company name <laughs> um, later on um, so we'll build it out of cobble because cobble's cool uh, and we'll bring it up to uh, 220, what was it again? 224, there we go. Come here, water bucket. Thank you. Okay, so this is 224. Um, I'm going to build a little platform, or bridge rather, over here. So we have something to get back on. Uh, and then we'll extend it up to connect it all up. There we go. Now we need to mark the centre like that. And this is our way down. And I shall start building these spawning pads. They are three by three. and have a uh, half slab in the middle, which I do not have any on me at the moment, uh, to prevent spiders from spawning because we already have a spider, cave spider harvester, which gives us plenty enough string and spider eyes as it is. Uh, and we do not really need any more. <laughs> so we're not going to get any spiders to spawn in here. Which is why I might have noticed the tube to drop them down is only uh, uh, one wide, one by one hole. Because uh, that's the only mob that'll be down here. Okay, this is like one layer of the spawning pads done. It's taken me about 10 stacks of cobblestone to do this. Uh, which is a lot more than I expected, to be honest. So it's a good job we've got like three double chests full of the stuff. Um, as you can see, we've got the basic spawning pads. Uh, there's going to be a roof on top of here, uh, like there. So it's going to be too high, so Enderman cannot spawn. 
and we've got a half slab here so uh, we don't get any spiders spawning either uh, we then get obviously this water's frozen up uh, but the water streams bring them down into the middle here which is still marked with that and thinking about it I went down there earlier to do that so I need to uh, extend it up like that okay um, so I'm going to get a roof on this thing and we'll see what the drop rates are like okay it's all built uh, there's no mobs in there at the moment but we've had a few drop down so far uh, we can kill them with one shot if they do survive for some weird reason because it's multiplayer uh, we'll move this chest, not the chest, the crafting bench over here just to get out of the way. Uh, there's no mobs up there at the moment though. Uh, but hopefully as we add a few more layers to this, uh, the spawn rates will increase very, very much. So, uh, there it is. Um, two gunpowder, bones, zombie flesh. Uh, it's all beginning to take shape. So, I thank you all for watching this episode as usual. And I will see you again next time when I get this all uh, finished up, polished up, I don't know. It will be finished next time, I'm sure. But uh, it'll certainly be more, there'll be a lot more drops than it has currently got. Uh, so we'll be able to get uh, some TNT going which will be good for sand harvesting, uh, make it a lot more interesting than it currently is <laughs> with the old uh, dig and torch method. So as usual, thanks a lot for watching and I will see you again next time.